Hey Water Signs, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys. This is for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, um, just going to be pulling the cards, see what we get. Alright, Yin, this is just saying, you know, kind of take a step back and allow other things to just kind of fall in place or allow other people to actually make the moves for you instead of doing things yourself. This is a time to kind of sit back and allow the universe to either take action or somebody else, okay? Um, you have deep knowing, all right, so very intuitive, um, knowing things before they happen. Maybe you know something's up. Maybe you know something right now. Maybe you know to, take, to let the universe take um, action on whatever this is. Um, you have a message in the bottle. This is just telling me that some type of news is about to come in for you. Um, somebody's going to give you a message, send you a message. I feel like you're waiting on this message. So I don't know if this is for like a job, an apartment, a career, um, waiting on somebody that, you know, you've been waiting on, like a sp special person that you've been waiting on. The Virgo card just popped up. So maybe you're waiting on a Virgo. Then we got the door card, Falcon and Pathway. So I feel like you're waiting for new doors to open up. Okay. Let me say that. I feel like this message in the bottle is going to be. A message for this new doorway and new doorways um, are going to be opening up a new opportunity. So like a new job, a new home, new love, new something. You know what I mean? Then you have Falcon. Higher, higher perspective rising above a situation. So whatever you're going through, it's like you're making it through. You're coming out on top. You know what I mean? And then you have door, door and pathway. Okay? Follow your own path. You do not need to follow another. Okay? So it's like, you know, if other people are trying to put stuff in your head, it's like, don't listen to them. Do what you want to do for you because only you're the one that's going to have to deal with the consequences. You know what I mean? So do what you want to do for you. Don't allow other people to stray you off the path that you're trying to get to. I'm going to pull my romance oracle cards. This is if you're in a relationship or if not. And I mean, we'll say. <clears throat> You deserve love. You are lovable. So maybe you're feeling like you're like, um, nobody loves you or nobody knows how to love you. Whenever you meet somebody, it's like if it all falls apart, maybe you always feel an empty, okay? And it's like, maybe the reason why you feel empty is because the people that you're meeting are not the, pe the right people for you. They don't know how to treat you, you know what I mean? And it's not you. It's not anything that you're doing wrong. It's the other people, okay? They don't know how to treat you. They don't know how to love. So... If you're feeling that, you know, lonely, sad, and nobody loves you, just, you know, I feel like you maybe need to work on loving yourself a little bit more first. I'm not saying that you don't, but you know what I mean? It all starts with us first, so maybe try that. You have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic connection here or a strong magnetic attraction here. So maybe you just met somebody. This can also be the message in the bottle. That could be somebody that you're really attracted to or something or whatever in your love life, somebody that you're really connected to. Then you have free yourself, so it's a little contradicting. <clears throat> it can be talking about two different things, okay? Because you have free yourself, and then you have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction right here. So maybe you're trying to free yourself from some relationship that you're not getting enough love in. Maybe there's a message in the bottle coming from somebody else or some other situation or whatever, and then that's going to be the chemistry that's coming in. That's what I'm seeing now. It's time to take a break. No, it's time to take back control of your life. Okay, so overworking, overstressing, over, you know, doing things and not getting anywhere with it. It's like, you know what I mean? Whatever you're feeling trapped in, it's like free yourself from that. Only you can do that. You know what I mean? You have to take the first step. Letting go. <sighs> All right, so, yeah, letting go. So you are holding on to something or were holding on to something that you weren't trying to let go. But I feel like once you do let go and free yourself... It's going to be a whole new world for you. Understanding. I'm going to read that. Okay. And one more. <coughs> Wishing. One second. I got to check my kids. Okay. So we got wishing, understanding, and letting go. So. Wishing 19. My dear one, I hear your prayers. I know your heart. I know what is your, for your highest good. Dreams do come true. Make sure you, your dreams serve your highest purpose and does not take away from another. Be careful what you wish for. Remember the coins tossed in a wishing well? 
For every wish, there is a price to be paid. Are you ready to spend the time and energy that your granted wish will require? Now is the time your wish will be fulfilled. So I guess you better get ready because your wish is about to be granted. Whatever you've been wishing on. If you're wishing on freeing yourself, you're going to be freed. If you're wishing on starting a new job, you're going to get the new job. It's like whatever you're wishing about, whatever you're hoping for, praying for, whatever this is, it's going to happen. So the universe just wants you to be pre prepared. Like when you get what you wish for. And sometimes when we ask for something, is, is we get what we wish for, but is it everything that we wanted and are we prepared for it? You know what I mean? Then you have understanding. It is one thing to read something or hear something, but it is another thing to truly understand something. You're being asked to keep an open mind and, and an open heart and allow yourself to absorb information as you receive it. Be open to the wisdom that can come only with time, patience, and perspective. Try to get outside of yourself and imagine what it is like to walk in someone else's shoes. To understand it is to have power. But I'm going to do letting go. I wasn't going to, but... If you love something, set it free. Don't hold on too tight, lest you chase it away. You have the freedom at this time to choose whatever you want. Let others do the same. You will be so happy you did. Miracles come when you let go and allow the magic to happen of its own accord. So the end card, that's kind of what it's just saying. is Allowing things to just, you know... Try to let go of like the control or let go of the expectations and stuff like this and just allow things to just flow naturally, allow things to happen, allow the universe to take control over whatever the situation is. If you feel things are falling apart or whatever, just know that they're falling apart for a reason. The only reason why things fall apart for us is because it wasn't meant for us anymore or we done learned a lesson or something like that. Or it might just be like the time has finally came, you know what I mean, to just move on and learn something new. You can't learn something new if you're staying in the same place and you just keep on doing the same things, you know what I mean? So I think the universe wants you to free yourself from whatever this is because you have other things that's on your path that, you know, is needed to be done and needed to be learned. And then you have moon cycles, lots of repeating cycles, like I said. And this is also, the moon is also about, like, <clears throat> coming out of the dark and, 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 like, the sun shining and it's like a whole new world, you know what I mean? It's like something brand new. It's like, you know, a whole new world. It's like, maybe you think, like, when you leave this or set yourself free from whatever this is, maybe you don't believe that it's going to be good after this, okay? So just know that the universe has your best interest at heart. They're not going to do all this stuff just to bring you down, you know? All right, so the, the moon cycle says, open to your receptive fem feminine side. Your emotions ruled by the moon phases. Harness that moon's energy and understand her phases for your magical work. Work in conjunction with the triple goddess. Ancient, Hecate. Ancient civilizations used the moon to describe with and to predict weather patterns. The oceans of the world, cycles of nature, emotions, birds, and animals are all affected by the moon. From the new moon waxing to the full moon, to the waning moon, plants and herbs as well as spell casting are all affected by and work with each other lunar phase. Alright, this says, after an arduous journey, moon appears to indicate that you are coming to an end of a phase. Cycles begin and end and begin again, but in a new form. Patterns repeat until the lesson has been fully understood and learned. As you step into this new phase and be expectant of full anticipation, for you will not wish to go over old ground again. New opportunities await, so be vigilant. Outcomes lie in your hands. Call, call down the moon as she embraces you in her soft, luminous glow. Bathe under the pure feminine and restorative energy she immerses within you. Recharge your working crystals under her full presence and go sky-clad in honor of the triple goddess who watches over you. As the moon rolls your emotions, never forget that she also lives within you as you work in conjunction with her phases. Honoring at all times your new, full, and dark aspects of maiden, mother, and crone. And we have ancestors. <clears throat> also, if you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. It helps other people to be able to see my channel. And then I'm also, you know, able to help other people. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know why I can't, like, freaking stop coughing or my throat. Which is wisdom. An ancestors remembrance. The obstacles you are experiencing experience and are connected to the past you're holding on way too tightly now you got a couple cards on here that's saying you're holding on way too tightly it's saying free yourself and let go and all this other stuff so it's like all right so you're holding on way too tightly now is the right time to finally let go remembering those who have walked before you and understanding their ways will help you to release any hurts and pains healing ancestral lines will enable you to break free and step into the freedom your soul yearns for to be whole and complete remembrance asks you to honor the ancestors for those who live their lives trusting and recognizing and interacting with spirits of the land and living in accordance with the magical law of nature. Call upon their wisdom to assist you in awakening to the magic of the old ways. 
of the days when nature was respected and the natural balance in all things was ensured. Remember too who you are and where you have came from and honor yourself for never giving up as you walk in the footsteps of the ancestors. Alrighty then, and then I'm going to pull my Moonology cards, and then after that, my reading will be done for you guys. I guess, like, nothing wants to fall out. Alright, you are good enough, so maybe you don't believe in yourself. Maybe you don't believe that you deserve love and that you deserve happiness and you deserve freedom and for people to treat you right. Like, and maybe you think that you, you don't deserve it because you don't think you're enough and maybe that's why you think you don't deserve it, but yes, you are enough. And if you keep on staying in a situation where you're feeling stuck and you're always going to feel like that, and if you do, you know, free yourself from this situation, you're going to be able to have a chance to see that you are enough. You will be able to be loved from other people. Not everybody's the same. All right, so you have a new start is coming. So there is a new start coming, okay? So it's like, yeah, you got some things that are ending. You need to let go of some stuff. But this is because a new start is happening, a new cycle for you, all right? It's like something that you're going to really, really be happy about. It's like a whole new world, like I keep on telling you. A fiery climax approaches, so something very, very energetic, a lot of passion. Maybe, um, I don't know, fiery climax is approaching. And then it says, be bold and make the first move. Like I told you earlier, the universe wants you to make this first move. They can't do it for you. They're trying to send you all these messages because I feel like you're staying where you're not being deserved. You're staying where you're not feeling happy. And this is just like, you know what I mean? The universe doesn't want us to do that. They want us to find the happiness and everything and to go... You know, and learn more and learn more and learn more so we could teach more and learn more, you know. <laughs> so basically, that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe and have a good day, guys. Thank you.